Welcome to the OpenEMR Project, Inc. The OpenEMR Easy Docker Development Environment Series. This video will cover resetting and demo data in the testing environment. These are cool features that allow you to reset the testing environment in addition to including standard demo data in the testing environment, assumptions of this tutorial, Assume that you have set up and are using the OpenEMR Easy Docker development environment, which is covered in the video that is linked in this slide and is also linked in the video summary. This tutorial also assumes that your environment is in the home backslash GIT backslash OpenEMR directory. This slide is an overview of what we will be covering in this tutorial. Let's get started. When the OpenEMR Easy Docker development environment starts, it will automatically set up and configure OpenEMR for testing. Let's open up a terminal and go to the home directory and then go to the GIT backslash OpenEMR backslash Docker backslash development dash easy directory. Then type in the OpenEMR dash CMD space up command. This will start up your Docker environment, which you can illustrate by showing the Docker space PSA space A, which shows the five Dockers that are running. You can then do the OpenEMR dash CMD space DL command, which shows the Docker log of the OpenEMR Docker. At this point, the OpenEMR Docker is building, which is, means it collects packages and other things that are necessary for building. If you let it go for a while, you can see here, the Docker log shows that it's building what we call the CSS themes. And then if you let it go for longer, you can see here where it shows that the build is finished. And then what it actually does is OpenEMR will do an automatic setup. And then you can recheck the logs again, which will show here that the build is complete in addition to the setup. As you can see here below the quick setup, it shows this OpenEMR configured, which means it's been set up and configured. And this is what is noted after the Docker completes building. So at this point, you can then go into a web browser and go to localhost colon 8300, which will get you to your OpenEMR. For username, admin, password, do P-A-S-S, which will then log you into your OpenEMR. Just to show in the next step, when we do a reset, we're going to put in a patient. When putting in a patient, the minimal data you need is the first name, the last name, date of birth, and the gender. Again, we'll create the new patient. So as you can see here, we have our new patient in your OpenEMR testing environment which shows up when you search. We will now log out and move on to the next, uh, which is where you can do a reset and perform automatic setup configuration via a command, the openemr-cmd space dri command. So we will go back into the command line. We'll type the openemr-cmd which 
It shows all the possible commands for this command. And this is the section we'll be looking at, this reset management section. You can see here there are several commands here. And this time, we are going to focus on this DRI command, which is to reset and reinstall OpenEMR. So we will type that in, OpenEMR-CMD space DRI. This command can take several minutes. It is now completed, resetting and re reinstalling your testing environment. So I suggest refreshing this page and then you can log back in with admin password PASS. As you will note, it's been resetted, so that's why there's no more patient here. The entire testing environment has been basically shut down and reset. Next command is where you can actually reset the testing environment, but not do the automatic setup and configuration. And in this case, you are going to uh, need to manually set up, configure the testing environment via the setape.php script which is something that is necessary for developers to do if they do want to develop on the installation script, which we will demonstrate. So we'll go back to the command line. Again, we'll just type the open cmd command just to show the available commands. And this is the command we're going to do, this dr command, which is to reset OpenEMR only. Again, we're not going to do a automatic reinstall of the testing environment. So again, we're going to type the OpenEMR dash CMD space DR command. And then we're going to go back to the web browser go back and we're going to refresh this. We're going to actually, we're only going to go to localhost a3, localhost colon a300. And now what you see is the installation script. There's no automatic install. So you actually do the manual install, which is what users do. So it's a good thing to go through, especially if you're developing on this. So we're going to proceed to step one here. We're going to have the setup, create the database, which is the default installation. Here there's a several settings that are specific to the Docker environment. For a server host, we put MySQL. For password, you can put anything, but I generally just put OpenEMR when I'm doing development and testing. Root password is root, R-O, root, R-O-O-T, again, root. This user host name, you need to change from localhost and change it to the percent sign. And here, what I generally do is just take this user login name, copy it and paste it into the password just to make things easy for development testing. And I'll scroll down and click the create database and user button. This can take several minutes. So you then end up at step three, which is just showing all the things it did to create the database in the first user for you, the OpenEMR uh, testing environment. We'll then proceed to step four. This is really just ensuring that all the PHP settings are correct, which will be in your easy development environment. So we'll proceed to step five. These are just steps. We don't need to follow these for our testing development, but this is Again, good to see what is seen by uh, users that are installing OpenEMR. Then we'll proceed to the next step. This is really where you can select a theme. So if you want, you could show more themes and do a different theme. Or you could just click on Keep Current, which we're going to do here. And then proceed to the final step. This is really just a bunch of instructions for users. Where some documentation is. 
It also shows where the, uh, the user name and the password is. So again, we can copy that and use that for the login page, which we can now see. So we can use that name and also for the password, which we set to be the same. And again here, so we've now logged into OpenMR after doing a manual installation and configuration. And again, we're just going to set up a sample patient just to show that in the next step, uh, this will go away. Again, the patient summary of the uh, new sample patient. So um, the next thing we can do is we can actually set up a testing environment where we can reset it, perform the automatic setup configuration, also include standard demo data via a, a single uh, command. We'll go to a terminal and just again do the openemr-cmd command, which lists all the possible commands. And this one we're going to do now is this dr. ID command, which is to reset and reinstall OpenEMR with demo data. So we're going to do OpenEMR dash CMD space DRID. Which can take some time, usually up to about uh, several minutes. Here you can see it's installing demo data, which again could take several minutes. And then we're going to see a whole bunch of commands and output, which is really what it's doing here is updating the database via the upgrade scripts, which can also take several minutes. So the command is now complete. So at this point it's been reset and reinstalled automatically with demo data. So we'll refresh this page. Here we can log in with the admin user. Again, admin, password pass, P-A-S-S. -S. Here you'll note that there are three patients, which are, this is our standard demo data. The uh, demo credentials are standardized. You can find them by searching Google by going to the OpenEMR demo, or sorry, going to the OpenEMR development demo, going to this development demo link. And you can see here this demo credentials. So there are actually five users you can log into this OpenEMR or your OpenEMR with the demo data with it and there's even two uh, patient portal credentials so in this case just to show an example we're going to log in via the physician username and physician password so this is this would be a, a considered to be a physician so it have sort of the access controls that a physician would have so you're going to note here at the top there's no admin menu as you saw in the admin user. You can still see these patients. Again, we'll click on Phil Bedford or Belford. So 
So we can also use these the patient portal credentials. So we'll go to the localhost colon a three hundred and portal, and then here's the credentials for that fill on the patient portal. So again, fill one for the username, fill for the password, and then we'll get what the uh, email should be and paste that in. So you're now logged into the patient porter for Phil. And here's just a couple things you can see. Again, initially you see the My Documents. You can also see other information for the patient. And then you can log out. And that is the end of the tutorial.